All right, so good morning, this is Trent. Uh, so today I wanna to talk about how I'm uh, looking at when uh, trends are happening, when they're changing, uh, when stocks are uh, a good time to buy or not to buy. So I have this notebook here, as you can see, it's called The uh, High Performance Habits. I recommend the book, it's great for to, uh, zoning in on what you're excellent at and creating the habits. Well, it comes with this notebook, and every day I will take notes in my notebook of things that uh, that uh, indicators in the market that I am uh, paying attention to. So there are three things I'm looking at. I'm looking at volume, I'm looking at price, and I'm looking at volatility. So those three things are what are I'm basing my decisions on where the trend of the market's going or trend of the stock's going. If it's about to turn, if it's about to uh, get super uh, volatile, or if it's falling volatility, if it's a good time to buy because then it's moving up. So let's break down uh, volatility today. I believe volatility is a biggest leading indicator to what is to come. Okay, when volatility spikes, you're starting to see risk off, uh, off kind of situation. So for instance. Uh, yesterday in the NASDAQ 100, the NDX is which I follow. The VXN is the volatility index for the NDX. Okay. So yesterday, midday, I saw a spike of 17% up in a given day. All right. In that day, yesterday. And yesterday was the 13th of July. So when I look at that and I see that, you know, that trend, and I'll show you a chart here in a second. A trend down over in volatility, and then all of a sudden, a day where it, sp it spikes up, it tells me that we are going to see a rotation out of high risk assets like the NASDAQ 100 and into less risky assets. So, if you go to the MOVE index, which is the volatility index for the 10 year treasury, okay, MOVE index, M O V E index, it's hard to find it, but if you can find it, it's a good indicator of what the volatility is in the 10-year treasury. And what we see is a continuing falling of the volatility in the move index. And what that tells me is people are buying into the 10-year treasury. And the reason they're doing that is because they're scared of what is coming and what is happening in the world. So if you look at the 10-year treasury over the last, say, two years, you will see that yield has fallen. And when we get fear spikes, you see the move index go up and people are, are getting scared. But when you see the move index go down and continue to go down, there's less volatility there. That means more people are buying into the 10-year treasury. So compare the correlation between the, the NDX, the NASDAQ 100, and the 10-year treasury, okay, and their uh, volatility indexes. So uh, the, the VXN, and the move index. And what you saw yesterday was the VXN's uh, volatility spiked and the move index continued to go down. So this opposite correlation, I want you to start thinking more and more about how things are correlating within your portfolio, okay? So this is what it's telling me today. This is earnings season, July of uh, 2020, where end of second quarter, we're in the second the biggest uh, uh, phase of, of this coronavirus, cases are going up. I know here in Florida, uh, the, uh, I think it was two days ago, we had a case count jump up to $15,000 confirmed cases in a day. Uh, according to my doctor, you're going to see 20,000 cases in the very near future, probably next seven days or so. Don't take that as gospel, but it's her estimate, and she's really on it on this. Uh, so... I'm looking at the volatility in equities, and I see that in the VXN and the volatility there. And I also see it in the VIX, the volatility index, which is related to the S&P 500. Now, most people uh, look at the S&P 500 as the gospel, uh, along with the Dow Jones, which is really not a great index to base your uh, uh, overall stock uh performance thinking on because it's just 30 stocks and most of it's in the, just old stodgy stuff, right? 
whereas the S&P 500 is 500 stocks. So I'm looking at the VIX also in relation to the S&P 500. And once again, yesterday we saw a jump in volatility in the VIX. What that is telling me is that volatility is starting to spike again, which means fear is coming into the market, which tells me that I need to look at what is going to oppositely correlate to my equities so that I can hedge, in a sense, that downside risk in equities and with something that will go up. So I'm looking for something that is uh, falling in volatility. So I'm looking for asset classes where volatility is falling in comparison to asset classes where volatility is going up. See how this is happening? You neutralize your portfolio. You obviously correlate your portfolio. So where I'm looking at is, of course, in 10-year treasuries, 30-year treasuries. I'm looking at the ways I can buy those uh, ways index. And I know everybody's, you'll look at me and go, why would I buy uh, the 10-year treasury, which is, I think, right around 0.66 uh, of a percent in yield? I'm not going to make any yield. That's not the point of this. If you had bought the 10-year treasury or the 30-year treasury at the first of the year, you'd be up double digits. Okay. What is this all about? This is all about making money, right? Making money and risk managing. So what I'm telling you is you are buying treasuries or treasury type of positions like the, the 5, the 5, 10, uh, now the 20, which is brand new, and the 30 because you are hedging this portion of your portfolio, this equity portion. When this equity portion goes down, you want your uh, hedge, your uh oppositely correlated uh, positions to go up. So you neutralize your downside risk. I'm telling you this because at the end of the day, if you neutralize your downside risk, your upside returns will take care of themselves in the long run. The less you lose in a market that is that we're in, the volatility, the more you're going to gain in the long run. Okay, The less you have to make up. So let's review really quick. I'm looking at the volatility in my uh, in my in the equities. So, for instance, the Nasdaq 100, the VXN. Okay, VXN jumped yesterday. The I then look at where is my opposite correlate? Where can I hedge? And I'm looking at the move index, which is related to the 10-year Treasury, and we're seeing that go down. Okay, so oppositely correlated. I'm buying and allocating positions to take the edge off of this. Volatility, I'm experiencing equities. And what in end, the value of the, of the SP 500 or SM, excuse me, the NASDAQ 100 will go down and the value of the 10 year treasury, the value of the 10 year treasury, not the yield, the value will go up. And I will counter this down in the equities. If do I one to one counter it? Am I neutral completely? No. Am I going to lose a little? Probably a little bit. But here's my next step. When I see the volatility in the uh, in the VXN and the VIX bottom, I mean top in a sense, right? The volatility is up here. The move index uh, is down here. Okay. When I see it topping and I see the volume uh, decreasing, volume is very important. Volume decreasing, I will start reallocating new new uh, cash back into my uh, riskier assets, into my equity portfolio. So I'm buying low and I'm selling high. So when I see volatility peaking in equities and bottoming in uh, treasuries, I will buy on my equity side, start overweighting my equity side, not totally get out of my, my hedge because uh, I'm building a diversified risk managed portfolio. And as the uh, VXN and the VIX fall, the values of, uh, of the equities will go up and I will make money. That is the strategy I'm using. That is why I'm looking at volatility. Check it out. VXN, uh, VIX, S&P, or NASDAQ 100, VXN, and the S&P 500, the VIX. And check out the move index. If you can find it, the move index. Uh, for the 10 year treasury. Look at correlations, 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 right? When you're buying real estate, what are the three rules? Location, location, location. 
when it comes to buying stocks and bonds, our correlation, correlation, correlation. Remember that. All right. Go out there. Do your homework. Be aggressive. Think outside the box. Quit listening to the talking heads. Do your homework. Risk manage. Peace.